everybody take more small time realty and today we're doing an emergency video because there's a lot of talk right now that the real estate market home prices are decreasing that you know the rates have gone up that the whole housing market's crashing right and i don't like using that word crashing because i think it implies a negative context um, but i want to give the truth of what is at least happening here in the rva area honestly kind of probably across the whole place and to give you a little hindsight to my knowledge the only housing market that has seen an actual depreciation was las vegas okay so nowhere near virginia okay so let's get this going let's first we're going to talk about the actual rates what has happened with the feds and go from there so there's two things you need to know or really one big thing that when the feds say that they're increasing rate that is just the the cost or the rate of borrowing money so you're talking cars uh, mortgages, credit cards. If I as a business want to hire more people, I go to a bank or wherever, take out money. That is the rate that is increasing, right? To borrow that money. When it goes to the actual mortgage rate, they're two completely different things. So your interest rate and what the Fed's rate are, they're separate. But what you need to know is they do correlate together, right? So when one increases, more than likely the mortgage rate will increase. But it doesn't mean that from yesterday, they said that the rates went up by three-fourths, so 0.75%, or 0.75 points, what, however it goes by. Um, it doesn't mean that the mortgage rate, if it was at six, is now at 6.75. Um, it's continually changing, right? You have to know that day-to-day -day that rates can change. All right, so let's get into this actual talk of house prices decreasing. So if you look at real estate on a short spectrum, you only look at a small timeline, yes, housing prices have decreased, you could, you could say. Where you will lose that game and where you will come out, depending on what your strategy is, you will come out behind everybody else going off of the short end because real estate is the long-term game, okay? So if you compare this month to last month, home prices have increased. If you look at last month to the year prior, they only increased. So you can't go off of the short end because when you do, you will end up losing that. What has been happening, at least from what I am seeing here, is three things. One, sellers have an unrealistic expectation. They're listing their home way up here. They're not putting any time or effort into fixing up the home. Two, agents listing agents are not putting the time and effort into really educating their sellers they just want the contract which is pretty bad and then three there's not as many buyers because a lot of people have paid into this fear that just wait you know just wait so when you combine all those together you get kind of the current market where there are houses that sit on the market where we use the example a house is worth 350. you sell it or you have it listed at 380 $30,000 difference there. Look at all the stats, look at everything happening in the area, and I'm coming up with 350, maybe 360 max. But you listed at 380. The stats are gonna show that you listed the house at 380. So if you need to sell it, but you're trying to milk every penny out of it, and the home decreases, so there's no traction. Couple showings, no bids yet. Then you decrease it to 370, nothing yet. Then you decrease it to 360. And then somebody writes you an offer. There's been a twenty thousand dollar decrease there, but the home is actually really only worth three sixty. Well, when you go to look at the stats of it, there's been a depreciation. Even though that exact same house probably sold two years ago, even a year ago, for thirty, forty thousand dollars less. But because at the rate that it went at, it's now worth three fifty, three sixty. Okay. It, when you look at the short end of it. Yes, there was a depreciation at the stats, but in the long term, even just a year, the home appreciated or earned an extra $30,000. So it depends on how you look at it. And there was a saying that I heard from an e economic economist, economist that says that there's two things that come to stats. It's your truth, someone else's truth. You can always manipulate statistics. And that's exactly what news media always do, right? They're trying to sell a story. They're trying to sell your time so for advertisement for other companies that pay for the news, you know, all that stuff, they're trying to get your attention. So don't listen to them. Know that if you're going to sell your house, homes have appreciated, okay? If you've owned your home for over two, three years, you're sitting on a mountain of equity, okay? If you're going to buy, know that you're buying the house, not the rate. 
So even if, say, rates hit 7 8%, something high, because we've never seen rates like this in about a decade or so, with that being said, if the rates do end up dropping, the economy starts to slow down, the, you know, the feds try to spark the market back up, and they drop rates, you can always refinance. Now you go from whatever your cap was, because you can afford it. Remember, you got to get pre-qualified, pre-approved, go through the loan application. You get approved, so you can still afford it, but now you're really making a lot more money because you refinance at a lower rate with still the same payment in terms of, you know, the same cost because you're not competing against another house. And you're able to either save more money, take the equity now earned, buy a bigger house, whatever it is, okay? Stay in the same house with a lower payment. There's a lot more options you can do, but you can't look at the short end because if you look at the short end, again, you're going to kind of be lied to for somebody to spark, you know, oh, don't wait, just, or, you know, just wait to buy, don't do it now. Um, same with sellers, you know, don't sell, wait to sell. It all comes down to what is your plan? What is your purpose? You know, if you're a seller and you're looking to move somewhere, is it reasonable? Can you get what you want out of it to make that move possible? For a buyer, can what you want, what you're looking for in the house, is that reasonable for the area, the size, all of that? It all matters. So guys, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. I, I know I spent out a lot of info. So again, if you want me to break down something even further, put it in the comments below. But know that housing work is still good. I see houses all the time that pop up. They're priced right. They put the proper work into it and the proper marketing. And the house sells within a week still. Maybe not five, six offers, 10 offers like it were a year ago, but maybe you get two, three offers, right? That's still great. Maybe you get one offer at the price that you wanted at. That's what you want, okay? It's not what it was a year ago, but things are still good, okay? But let me know if you have any questions. If not, I'll see you next week. Bye now.